So they're going to pass around a microphone. So any questions that you have, and I'm so happy to be here. Ghent is so beautiful. I had no idea. And I spent a couple days in Brussels, which I had no idea how beautiful that was. You know, in America, everything isn't so old. <laughs> so it's so charming. I just, I've taken 8,000 pictures of buildings. <laughs> is this your first time in Belgium? Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Have you tried any of the, the beers or the chocolates? Chocolate, yes. Good. I've been too afraid of the beer because I'm so jet lagged that I'll be asleep in two minutes, but I'll get there. But the chocolate, it, it's just, I walked and walked because it's such a long flight to get here. The day after I arrived, I just wanted to walk. So I walked around Brussels for five hours. It, oh, it was amazing. And it was drizzling rain. And from Los Angeles, that's also miraculous. I was like, wow. Oh. I looked crazy. So yeah, so I love being here. All right, let's start the questions. This is your chance to ask everything you always wanted to know. Well, let me start with a question that was sent in by, by oh. some fans. Yeah, we got a couple of questions sent in. Alex is tall. Alex is wonderful. <laughs> right, who's got another question? <laughs> now, there was one question that said, at the end of season four of Once Upon a Time, Manifestant and Lily's ending is a bit open-ended. Mm -hmm. And they were wondering if, if you were coming back or how they were going to do that in, in, in the next season, perhaps. Yeah, that, I think, happened because I was supposed to do one more episode and then I booked another job before they scheduled me for the last episode, so I couldn't be there. And I was in Atlanta and they shoot in Vancouver and there was one day, we were one day off, and I was really sad that I couldn't go back and finish my storyline with my daughter, but they've asked me a couple of times what, a few times what my schedule is, and so they're thinking about doing something with Maleficent. I saw on Twitter that my daughter is pregnant, or was, so I thought, oh, maybe that's what happened, because she had her baby six months ago, and so I, the, 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 in a court of law, I have no idea what they're doing, I never do, but I'm pretty sure Maleficent will be back. That storyline was left open. Yeah. I saw a raised hand over here. Hi. Um, what was your favorite episode in True Blood and why? Yeah, you know, I often get that question and I should probably just come up with one. <laughs> but the truth is that there were so many that were great for me. I feel so lucky and there were ones that were, each season, I would imagine what would they were going to write for Pam. And then it would be so much better than what I imagined. And we got to know another side of Pam. So season four was very interesting for me. The Season three, we saw how vulnerable she was regarding Alex, Eric. And then season four, I got my own storyline because I got the rotting face. Mm -hmm. And I was really excited about the prosthetics and that, <laughs> I thought it was, it was really amazing to have such a vain character lose her face. And I had a really fun day shooting. I had one whole day with Stephen Moyer where I went to visit him at his house and I wanted permission to other children here. Uh, to kill that wicked C word, you know, and we had so much fun that day. And then um, season seven was very special because it was our last year. And Alex and I just got to be together the whole year. And we had a ball. And I can't even think of it in terms of an episode. It's sort of all mushes together as a season 
or as a story arc. But we had lots of fun when we went undercover in the Republican rally. Like very powerful, uh, you know. So that was really fun. So the the long answer is, it was also great. <laughs> Hello. Um, you said how much it was great to play Pam, but what has been the biggest challenge in playing such a complex character? There were a couple of challenges. There was. So much support from incredible writers, amazing producers that kept an eye on making sure that your character didn't do something in season five that we established in season two that your character wouldn't do. And of course the actors kept an eye on that as well. But we had the same producers and writers all seven years. So it was an for Pam, she stayed very true to herself. And then the costumes were amazing, the hair and makeup people were amazing, the sets were incredible, the other actors were incredible. So so that was all a huge support. I think part of what was challenging was just physically, the hours were very long and we would go back and forth from shooting really early in the morning to shooting all night. And some people's bodies just have more energy than others. You know, some like some dogs, they just have more energy than others. I always go to the pound, to the shelter, and adopt the dogs with low energy. <laughs> and because I just don't, 19 hours a day is challenging for me. And then when you go Monday morning, you get up at 3.30 in the morning, the alarm goes off, which is excruciating and then you get home at 10 p.m. and then Thursday you start the day at 6 p.m. and you work until sun up the next day and then driving home as the sun's coming up you start to feel like a vampire you start to feel sick because the sun is coming up and then sitting in rush hour traffic with people going to work and you just want to be home so bad that literally was, for me, the hardest, the only hard part. Everything else was a total joy. Hello. Um, in Once Upon a Time, we played Maleficent. And how do you give your personal turn to such a known character? What, what, what inspires you? When I went back to do Maleficent right after True Blood ended, I wanted to make sure that she was different than Pam, because I've been so used to playing, because they're similar in that they're um, pretty unsympathetic to others. They're tough, and we found out that Maleficent was very actually um, sympathetic and vulnerable to her daughter, like Pam was very vulnerable to Eric. So there's a lot of similarities and I didn't want them to, I tried to figure out how they were different. And I get a bit of help from the writers because they haven't been watching Pam for seven years, but for them Maleficent is, you know, whole in and of herself. So then next I remember trying to, whenever I play any character, I try to think of well, wait, what do I have personally that I can use so I don't have to pretend? And, you know, in True Blood, I really like Alex, so if I had to play a scene when he was dying, I could just imagine him dying, and I'm already a mess. And so, with Maleficent, I could think about, you know, with her daughter, I could think about my niece. And um, when Pam or Maleficent were being kind of me, I would think about people that I hate. <laughs> <laughs> and usually that's somebody harming animals. So, you know, I, the parts that we saw of Maleficent and Pam on screen actually exist in me. 
you just won't know who I'm thinking about. I think that's part of the strength of the performance. Oh, thank yeah. you, yeah. It it's, makes it easier. Hello, Hi. Uh, I want a question. How would you describe Pam and Tara's uh, relationship? Like, we had no clue, in my opinion. Yeah, um, that was a really fun storyline for me. We didn't know, Rutina's so cute. She was so excited to be a vampire. And then when she got to start dressing like Pam, she was so excited. And she's such a sweet, caring person. So it was fun. I didn't know her. You know, we hadn't really worked together. And so she came on to, you know, into my set, Fantasia. And she really wanted to, she thought about the character a lot. She had all these ideas. And it was really great to have that fresh energy. And I, it was fun to, I really like when characters are, we think that they're one way and then we can show that they're another way. So Pam started to feel a relationship and a kinship to her when she tried to kill herself. So of course she's tough love about it, but she could relate to that suffering. And that sort of mixture of hatred in the beginning and then getting an empathy, a sympathy with her, that combination made for the sexual tension that was really fun. So I wish actually that storyline had continued longer. So it, I love how complex it was that she is, they were enemies, then she's her mother, then she's her lover. I was like, awesome. Where else, but I'm sure glad could that happen. <laughs>